need a hug. You need a hug. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, you need a hug. You need a hug. I need. Yeah, I tell people hugs work. Nah, At that time, you needed a hug. I was frustrated in the motherfucker. She could have got it, all of it. I was a terrorist since the public school era. That's my joint, boy. Skip boys. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby skid on the scene. I used to have the, you know what? Let me hop out. Pop out, boy. At 2609 Germantown, hey, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy. Little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he the business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I can be loud as hell in the morning waiting there everybody if I wanted to. Hey, what? Oh my goodness, what? Jima, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door in here, huh? Business, and I bought briefcases what? for everybody. I know that leather strap from that briefcase hurting your arthritis trigger finger. What, boy? Not hurt my finger. <laughs> That's what I bought I briefcase for everybody, and I ain't here to play with you today, boy. Stop oh, oh. playing. It's a closing line. I ain't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, Jima? Weird? What the hell's wrong with I mean, you? like you crazy. Damn. You ever been here with you know briefcase, what? baby? Huh? Pretty too much. You ever smack one of down. What's up? Get him on. Stop playing. Oh, look at you, huh? Statue of Bull. What no, boy? I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna curse too much of you. I had a little ninja like come out and slap you with her strong throttle hand. Whatever. Uh huh. Or her stitching hand. Wanna play? Yeah, all right. Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She going to take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. If she don't got it, she will make it for you. Come out, boy. Man, y'all liking this bagger? This bagger got swag. You know what I'm saying? All right, G-Mom, see you up with your old ass self. Just a joint. I am out. Skip, boy. apparel. Damn, don't forget the Business Show podcast Wednesday 8 p.m. Funny as hell. By Global I go Radio. on a podcast and talk about Skip. All right, G-Mom. That's why we have your clothes on. Hey, 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 we back. It's back to the business show. I'm your host, Deanna Lachey. I'm Cousin Nadine. Sitting side seat, we got our boy Shizzy in the building. Shizzy is. Acting a fool with us. Listen, this don't make no sense, though. We, listen, y'all need to, I don't know, I should have cut this shit on. Y'all need to hear some of the shit that go on behind the scenes. Like, some of that shit is a lot funnier than what y'all get on tape. Because, you know, people say a lot of shit when they don't think nobody listening to them and shit. I'm going to start blackmailing and taping these shows we, we in the background. Just we just heard. <laughs> no. What? Like, listen, these fools that already admitted on camera that they all like midgets. They all are dates and one-legged ladies. But then they got a nerve to have a line. They girl said they won't date paralyzed women. I ain't. No, I'm not. And I, and I'm Don't not. say he give him a taste. I'm not. I'm he not. said he did. I'm, I'm not. not. But I got. No, I ain't Tone ran out before we came back on. Yeah, he ain't want no parts of this shit. Paralyzed. He said y'all won't put me on the spot. Yeah, I, I see. Ain't he, ran. he ran. He said you won't put me on the spot. God damn it. Right. Mm, 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 oh man. I don't know what goes on. Me personally, I have a weight so requirement. You want to date a midget? Well, shit, I'ma tell you like I told them before. I'm damn near a midget, so uh, yeah, if yeah. I dated a midget, yeah, it would look would. funny because we'd be she the same would. height. She admitted it before. She would. I didn't yeah. know. She I didn't do, say yeah. I dated a midget. She do midgets too. Was, is, <laughs> she admitted it before. She do midgets it's too. It's like two inches from being a midget. Yeah. yeah. So do that count? But I've never dated a midget because. I can't date but somebody smaller would. than me. I'm small. I'm going to date somebody smaller than me. I'm 5'1". Oh, oh, oh. It's hard to be smaller than me. See, I know your baby dad. Like, if you I dated somebody date, little than me. You wouldn't date nobody smaller than him. No, he about he, he's small. That's my requirement right there. <laughs> like, mm. He about as small as I can go. Shit, no, shit, shit. I mean, shit, I'm 5'1". He like, what, 5'4", 5'5". Shit, listen to him. That's not what she said before. She admitted Lies. that she would do midgets. I think y'all better watch that show. No, I ain't gonna, this is my little cousin. I ain't gonna lie on her. This is my baby. I ain't gonna lie on her. But she they said it. She asked me, she would I date a look, midget? I said no. If he looked nice. I said they if sent me a picture nice, of some midgets no, on the joint. She said he looked attractive like how we say. What made you look at him? I think she would. She said it. I'm telling you. 
Cuz don't do that. You know, I'm a bitch. I ain't got no fucking. That time. That's right. You know me. I ain't. We got you on tape. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to get my man shy to bring it back up on tape. I got it. It's on my page. It's on the after show. So you even know what I'm talking about, right? It's on the after show. And you said it. You said you did it. Mm. You ain't care. I think that little nigga was smelling like you. You ain't even looking yeah, sexy, I, but yeah. I wouldn't date him. I said you ain't care when we was mm. back like, in here. Like, they're going to twist. I'm going to tell you why I couldn't date a short person smaller than me. Because I already got this crazy personality where it's, I got a small people complex. You know, I'm a little aggressive right now and again. So I need somebody bigger than me that can sit my little ass down sometimes. Be like, shut your little ass up, sit down sometimes. Like, I don't want a man who hit me and put his hands on me. But I want a man that come that close. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'd be like, you know what? I think I'm going to sit my ass down. You know what I'm saying? I need that in my life. So you got to know what you need. I couldn't deal with no midget. I be beating the midget up and shit. I'ma keep it funky. I keep that nigga in the chest. They sit your punk ass down. That nigga ain't a curse you. I wish the fuck he was coming out there at 2 o'clock. Cause he gonna be abusive to a midget. You going to jail. Right. You going to jail, cuz. Listen, I'm gonna tell you, you why. You put your hands on the midget, cuz. You going to jail. Listen, I mean, you ain't even got to be in a relationship with I'm gonna tell you why I fuck a midget up. Don't do that, cuz. Cause for so long, you niggas been beating on women. So I found the nigga who I didn't beat up by the fucking fuck. Midgets beat on women? Oh, they probably be beating their midget girlfriends up, too. I ain't know so that. So if all you midget chicks but that got to be, come and kiss one of midget All midgets asses. don't talk to short people. I know. Some yeah, of them yeah, like, yeah. A lot of them got tall You see the little nigga from Friday? He was a lot of them, A lot of them got tall. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them got tall ones. Yeah, a lot of them got tall ones. Yeah, <laughs> they, tall ones. Do, they They like the trees. Now, they now, like now, to go now, up the trees. I don't trees. know how that works, though. Ah, now, that's different. Yeah, I beat my midget up. That's different. I'm not really a violent person. But on the midget you in. But if that nigga, you know, <laughs> trying to pull a rake on me and shit, like, if I sit the fuck down, I'd probably mug the shit out of him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I didn't I do that. I See, I was smart. I knew not to me. Mug a nigga, um, mug a nigga regular size, you know, because he might fuck you up. So, and I'm too little to get my ass whooped. So, you know, you got to beat on the people you can show or you can beat. <laughs> like, it's like Mayweather and shit. I'm like Mayweather. I fight a nigga. I know I can whoop. Uh, yeah, I get that nigga after his prom. I get that nigga when he like 45, damn near 50. Talking look, shit, little as a motherfucker. You, I mugged the I fuck out of him. I can see you coming in the house and just pushing him. Yeah, no I'd, be abusive, I'd be abusive to my you, bitch. You would be tall enough to put anything high. Just say yeah, anything. Yeah, I yeah, 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 just yeah, just yeah. say anything out of reach. He'll love you yeah. for that, Ken. No, but see, that's fucked up because I can't reach shit. Like, I can't reach on top of the refrigerator. I can't get shit out the cabinets. I'll be asking my mom, like, why are you short as I am? Matter of fact, I'm taller than you. Why the fuck you got shit all the way up here? You like, in my house, the, ca- the upper high cabinet's going to be empty. You should be able to reach. That's why I got to buy a house with all low cabinets. Because all my upper high cabinets going to be empty as a motherfucker. I'm not putting shit up there because I can't reach in, the fuck up there. If I come to your house and you got cabinets hanging low like a midget, all my cabinets going to be on the fucking floor. I know, but it better not be low like no midget. They're going to be on the floor. Uh, fuck what you talking about. All my cabinets going to be on the floor. That'll be the first time I've seen real cabinets on the I floor. I ain't talk your ass off. I'm little. I need all my yeah. shit in fun size. A little house. For hey. the little people. Yeah. yeah. Couch used to, um, Cap used to say we got, uh, what did he say? We got midget furniture. <laughs> He's always saying we got midget furniture. He'd be like, why your furniture is so low? Because it right. was, you know, the new furniture, they start making them without the legs right. on them. Mm-hmm. So he's talking about, why your furniture is so low? Mm-hmm. I'm like, that shit perfect for me. He's like, yeah, y'all got midget furniture. Mm-hmm. Right. So when we got the new couches, we made sure we got legs on them drawers because <laughs> I got tired of him coming over talking shit. <laughs> he coming to my house. He got legs just because of him. He's like, it's nice in here, but y'all furniture little shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> what type of shit is that? Angry bird couch. <laughs> it's the one thing about black people, like, we unprohibited, like, we say some shit, I, it's hard yeah, about the whole back yeah. on some shit, like, yeah. we'll yeah. tell you the truth, you know what the fuck you don't want to hear. Especially when you make us feel some kind of way, yeah. Especially when you make us feel some kind of way. They be like, shit, better I told you to somebody else. Right. One of the homies will walk over like, you need to brush your teeth. Your breath stick and your motherfucking teeth orange as shit. Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah. But I told you to somebody else. Right. Like, yeah. yeah, but I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna pause for a minute. I like, mean, I huh? appreciate it after I get yeah. past the fact that yeah. they just assaulted yeah. me. Yeah. I'll be like, shit, let me yeah. go brush yeah. my yeah. motherfucking yeah. teeth. Yeah. This yeah. nigga yeah. said yeah. something, somebody yeah. else yeah. gonna say something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's yeah. just the initial effect of the shit yeah. that yeah. gets you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. Like, nigga, you should have put your hand around me and say, yo, bro. And kids even worse. Yeah, they let you know. Kids, listen, kids will fuck your whole life up. What? Where, kid, uh, wherever they are, you miss them. Wherever they are. All your motherfucking hair missing at the top. <laughs> right. No. Do you pay half on your haircuts? Because you got a half a head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> he 
like, you know what? I'm about to slap the fuck out somebody, kid. Like a kid will tell you some shit. Anything. You don't want to hear. Yeah, you be like, I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah. Yeah. Man. A kid will tell you some shit like, well, do your breath smell like your son do? Because I was just talking to him and his shit stink. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, what? Oh, yeah, listen, get it. Listen. I'm telling yeah. you, my daughter almost, man, we got in a whole situation on the bus one day. Faggot. I don't know why this faggot nigga come sit right in front of me. I ain't got nothing to get y'all. I really don't. But this nigga come <laughs> sit right. I'm talking about one of them flamboyant joints. She just stared right at him, turned around like that. Why he got a, he got a earrings? He a girl. He a boy. He don't post to have that shit on. I'm like, yo. He turn around and get mad. Man, I don't hold this in, man. She a fucking kid. kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? You weird, though. No. Like, to she her? Right? Yeah, like, to you her. You weird, How yeah. you mad? Why you come sit right here? If you ain't respect the shit, then I mean. Yeah, kids will say some shit that hurt your feelings. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, so man. Kids will tell you some oh, shit. shit. Right. And right in front of your face. You ain't got to worry about them running down the street. Them niggas tell you right in your face. You be like, yeah. damn. I was over at my girlfriend's house the other day. Her granddaughter was outside leaning on the car talking about I'm flexing. <laughs> so when I pulled up, I, I started laughing at her. Because I'm like, what you doing? But she over there leaning like she taking pictures. She like, I'm flexing. So I'm <laughs> cranking up. So she said, matter of fact, I'm going to go flex on your car because it's much crisper. <laughs> so, <laughs> crisper. <laughs> <laughs> so I go in the house and I'm in there talking to you know my girlfriend. Should I come back outside? And I tell her, I said, Your granddaughter's crazy. I said, Let me tell you what she told me. So I tell her what she told me. We come outside, why she up the street on my car? She like, Flexing. 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 Right. I said, Yo, but look, was she taking pictures? pictures? Or she was just no, but she was posing like. Like it wasn't was even no, taking just, pictures? No, just oh, on the car. Like, she was flexing. She was flexing. Like, had her little girlfriend. Like, they both 10 yeah, piece. No, what I'm, the fuck do you know about I'm sorry. I ain't Dr. Dr. Ruth, but that shit called something else. Yo, okay? I was crying. I said, yo, these kids is crazy. Yeah. Like, your grandma was, car was cool until I pulled up. Then she like, no. Matter of fact, she gonna yeah. go I'm going to go flex on your car because it's crystal. It's crystal. I said, what the? Like this shit is a head of lettuce or something. I said, you know what? These shit is crazy. Kids will say anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah. They come up Listen, with names and don't even make no sense. Listen, this is how funny it is. Y'all know my grandson. If y'all know my grandson, he loved the police. Mm. police. So his birthday was this weekend. He loves them. He loves them. His birthday was this weekend. We make all the shirts, everybody, CSI, Task Force, NCIS, detectives, this, that, and the third. We do the whole shebang. So I take him to the Poconos for the weekend. So while we down there, we do a murder mystery. And we kill my son, right? Yo, that so shit look, looks fun. We lay him out on the floor. We chalk his body out. We pour ketchup all over the floor. And then we tell him to go hide. So he runs outside, get in my truck, lay the seat back, lay all out like he fucking dead. Jit. So we call the kids. Oh, is there any officers in the house? We need y'all to come. We have an emergency. They come running in the house. They see the body chalked out on the floor. They see the little ketchup on the floor. So my grandson looking because he ready to investigate. <laughs> so he go bend down to the floor. Ty's son, which is my sister boyfriend's son. Little chunky nigga. Little fat little nigga. They funny <laughs> as shit. This nigga big down on the floor. Look. See the ketchup on the floor, stick his finger in it and lick that shit and say, this is ketchup and that is chalk. Y'all trying to make us look stupid. <laughs> 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 I was done. I said, you know what? You can't even pull off a fucking murder mystery around these fucking kids. That little nigga said, this is ketchup. Fuck it, I do. Ain't nobody die here. <laughs> my, my son leave his head all in the dead body chalk, like when we chalked him out. Bob and Def, you gonna pick the head up and say, well, I'm gonna get this hat because whenever we find him, I think he's gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, these kids, listen, oh, let me tell you something, yeah, Lord, yeah, yeah, kids yeah. say some stuff, kids will say some stuff serious. you don't want to hear. And they be dead serious. And they oh, innocent. So, right, so yeah, it's like you yeah. can't even get mad at them. Right. Just, at all, so at like, all. Just, how, <laughs> how good, <laughs> Where does shit even come from? Like, how good. Oh, listen, I love the kids. Listen, I love the kids. These kids, listen. All right, let me tell y'all something else funny that happened this weekend. 
So as soon as we get there, you know how we do. We cooking out everything. So my son is cooking out. But every time a fucking hot dog get done, he eat the motherfucker. Mm. So my sister come outside and start cussing him out. Like, God damn, the kids ain't eat. Why the fuck you just eat all the food? Yada, 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 yada. Right. She cuss him out so bad, the kids get scared. Mm. So now, we sitting out on the back deck. So first you finish cooking all the food or whatever. You know, they finish all good. I have they do, which was hilarious. We go in the house. As soon as we go in the house, all the kids jump out the fucking pool, run up there, and take all the hot dogs. We so, got time to see him eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Shay Shay catches Lil Stu. Now, Lil Stu is my sister Godson. His name is Malachi, but we call him Lil Stu because he reminds you of Stu from Paper Soldier. He little, little, he husky, and his voice is deep <laughs> as ever. So, you know, we didn't just call him Stu. That's his adopted name. Well, while we all in the house, Stu come out. He this high. Stu was seven. He a little midget seven, too. Stu run out the pool, snatch three motherfucking hot dogs, and run and jump back in the pool. But Shay Shay catch him going down the steps like, you ain't got no buns, no bread, nothing. You just got three hot dogs in your hand. So <laughs> when Shay Shay come down and tell us that he got the hot dogs, he run and jump in the pool. <laughs> Jesus, so when I come out, hot dogs? listen. So when I come outside, I say Stu, why you in the pool? I thought you came and got some hot dogs. Where your hot dogs at? He come from up under the water with three hot dogs. <laughs> 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 Stu, you yo, was bad, Stu. <laughs> yo, he's yeah. the funny, and it's funny because he ain't even bad. He like the sweetest little kid. You had to talk to him the whole time. Yeah, but, but because Liv was cussing Ricky eat. out, she scared the kids. So we asked them did they want to eat. They kept saying no. They probably was scared to eat. They like, fuck that. We not going to get cussed yeah. off. So yeah. as soon as we went out, they like, fuck that. High alert. Let's get the <laughs> hot dog. Listen. All the kids just ran out the pool and just threw all the fucking hot dogs. No buns, no nothing. Just... He Ate the fucking hot dogs like they wasn't theirs anyway. <laughs> but when y'all see this little dude come up out the goddamn oh, pool with three hot dogs in his head, y'all done been in tears because he had the hot dogs running under the water. So my nephew was, I mean, Richie was like, he probably put him put them under water because they was burning his head because they was fresh off the water. <laughs> so I tell him, so I'm like, get out the pool and sit on the side. That nigga got in the pool, went up against the steps. He was in the corner eating his hot dogs. Right. <laughs> Right. Yeah, he, he wasn't even getting out that water up. Right. Damn. Yo, kids are the funniest. I love the kids. But he is a sweetheart. Like, we didn't have no trouble with him. Like, we call for him. Like, if we having something with the kids, like, go get Stu, because Stu is the funny. That's what's up. That's what's up. And like, like I said, you don't have, like, Shout he's not a kid. You gotta say nothing. You got some kids. You like, these kids bad as shit. Like, he really is a sweetheart. And he had you crying the whole time. All right. All right. Stu, I'm glad you got your hot dogs, Right, Stu. yo, but if y'all see him come out the water with the three hot dogs, y'all have been in tears. Like, oh, yes, I would have. <laughs> like, I got mine. Oh, yes, like, I would have. Y'all better go get yours. Oh, like, right. He's yeah, talking yeah. about, like, no, that's right. I don't know if it's on y'all, Jim. I'm going to get me my hot dogs so they come back out. Like, I said, damn, Lynn, you just scared the goddamn kids. They scared to get hot dogs and shit. They just taking dogs, the whole ass with them. Like, oh, shit. Sound like my nephew. Listen, these kids, my nephew had a broken arm. He got this little sleeve, this little plastic thing they gave him when he takes showers to put over his cast. He in the pool with it. Listen, this nigga in the pool with it. He done bust this shit wide open. We done had the Sharan wrap his fucking <laughs> up. His mom called her like, is it cast wet? We like, no. This nigga like this pouring water out his cast. <laughs> I'm like, we gonna have to take him to the doctors on our way home. Damn. The, the, the outside part was still hard though, but the inside was it's full of water. Because it's water. Listen, you done never knew his shit was broke. When I say he had a ball, he had a Damn. ball. Who already had it on though? Um, you let me just got hit on? by the car. Damn. Remember I told you I hit by the car? He had just had a cast on his leg. Come, you get the cast off, come outside to ride a bike, and this damn lady hits him. And fuck his leg up, he had another cast back on his leg and one on his arm. Damn. You he might. a G. Yeah. I'm like, don't worry about it, nigga. We going on vacation next week. He like, I'm there. <laughs> broke arm, broke foot, and anything. He doing backflips in the pool. That's a check, y'all. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a check. Shit. You got two of them. And she hit him and ran. Hmm. She, she hit him, took her car, car to the corner. Then come back and give her her address. I mean, uh, give him her phone number. And take my niece's phone number. And then get back on the car and pull off again. Oh, I don't fuck to her. 
I'm sorry. What? I, I'm that's what, that's what I kept saying. I'm like, why don't you just give me a number? Something. I'm just going by with my ass. Yeah, they like, no, no, we're going to let the police handle it. Well, they went right there and got her. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. It would been a while. I just want to go right. to the house and talk to her. That's yeah. all. That's what I that's said. We just need to have a serious sit down. That's how that was. I'm going to stand up. She's going to sit down. That's all. No quiet conversation. Ain't going to be no ruckus, no noise. I mean, it's going to be like a New York ruckus fight. Wow, well, we get down. We I'm like platinum the bounds. You going to the game out in Boston? We cooking up with the kids? I don't know. I might. I'm going. I ain't driving my car, but I'm going. Yeah. I'm driving. I don't know. Whoever, whoever, I would say, yeah, boy, I, I boy, you drive halfway. Halfway. Listen, I'm going. I might ride No, I got ride for somebody because I need to shoot. Shout out to, to Baltimore, Philly. We coming out there next, what, in August? We coming out there in August to play Baltimore. We going to get it in. Right. I think it's an unlimited game. We go out there every year. Oh, that should be fun. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they be yeah, on their way of Rutgers. Listen, I'm going to tell you. The I'm best. The, yeah, I'm out there. Listen, I'm going to tell you. The craziest game I ever went to go see was in the Rutgers. Yeah. Let me tell you how the Rutgers get down, right? Yeah. This is how you know these motherfuckers in New York is always gangster. They ain't like these. We G over here, but we another type of G. But yeah. let me tell you what type of G these niggas is. We go to the game unlimited at the Rutgers. So it's Philadelphia against uh, Rutgers. 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 Okay, yeah, so. New York. For the, for the first three quarters, Rutgers was beating us. But you know, it's a lot of us from Philly that went out here. So you know that um, the ref made a bad call against us. So you know everybody in Philly jump up, uh, you know making a noise. Any little cat from New York jump up. Oh fuck y'all! If y'all wanted a fair game. Y'all should have brought y'all ref with y'all. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> right. That's, yeah, so they yeah, was talking yeah, trash. You know, it they was hilarious. Yeah, they, they, they get funky like we get funky. So you know I'm crying. Yeah, yeah, I'm in there dying. So make the long story short. Five minutes later. Ruff make a bad call against them. We jump up, ah, same thing, right? We wind up winning. So now it's halftime. Now, this is like one of the, um, what is it? They got like this throwback all-star game. Right. They got all the old heads who was somebody from back in the day. They all right. in the park, everything. So this is a game game. So now we in between games. So Philly won. We won. We took, took all our little squad from down 26 in York, and we was down there, and we bust their ass. So now we on the second game. Well, with this intermission, we waiting for the second game to start. And we out here, we waiting. Oh, we waiting. And we waiting. And we waiting. And it's halftime? Fuck, we waiting. It ain't halftime. It's intermission in between the two games. We already uh, run the uh, first one. We waiting for the second one. It was two games. So, you know, I get up. I walk over to cook. And I'm like, cook. When the fuck, fuck the second game going to start? He said, oh, and y'all ain't hear what happened? That's what the fuck happened. <laughs> The, the referee up. go to the bathroom. They whooped this nigga ass so bad, the second ref who they didn't even touch ain't won a referee. Right. They both, neither one of them came back. They beat this nigga ass when he went to the bathroom. Like, oh, you gonna get him a call? Uh, and these motherfuckers won. Right. That nigga went to the bathroom and them niggas from New York went in the bathroom with him and they whooped his ass. I'm gonna say again, the ref they didn't touch quit too. He like, I'm the fuck out of here too. Because if right. I make a, a bad fucking call, I'm yeah. settling not to get home. That was some they had to call shit. to the nearest yeah. high school and take the refs from off of the high school game to come back to Rutgers, the, court, the, the ref, that game. Because like I said, it was a big game. And I bet you they right. tell him what Yo, just happened to the other ref. The reason why I say shit. this was the G and shit I ever saw, because they didn't make no motherfucking noise. You didn't see them go to the bathroom. You didn't see them come no. out the fucking bathroom. You didn't even know the ref went to the fucking bathroom. Like, they slid around there, whooped this nigga ass head. quietly. Like, in Philly, oh, they done whooped that nigga ass in the middle of the fucking game. Right. The you, game would have shut know, down. You, you, you Three niggas would have gotten shot. And you'd have been right. motherfuckers scurrying everywhere. Yeah, yeah, they was yeah, G with yeah, they shit. Yeah. They whooped this nigga ass quietly. Quietly. Yeah. Nobody yeah. even knew what happened. Yeah. If they wouldn't have told you, you wouldn't have knew. Yeah. Right. I said, oh, do. these niggas over in New York ain't to be fucked with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You make yeah. a bad call if you do. want. Like, coaching is bad for your health. You don't want to be a ref. Yeah. I mean, yeah. refing is bad for yeah. your health. Like, 
You don't want to be a rapper yeah. in New York. Yeah. You susceptible to get your ass whooped after every game. Right. Like in Philly, we talk a lot of shit. Because <clears throat> you know what that used to play. They, they moving out of there. And we would go to the games and oh, we, listen, we let them have it. But we ain't never beat them up. They whooped his ass. I'm talking about, did they fuck him up? They like, yeah, they fucked him up. They fucked him up so bad, the other ref don't even want to coach and they ain't even touch him. <laughs> Yo, bro, That's an ass whooping. That shit you whooped this nigga ass so bad, the other nigga don't want to come back? I said, oh, yeah, that listen. That was the best fun I ever had, man. But that was a game. Yeah. That was a that, game. That was fun. That New York shit get real. Like, yeah, if they invite you, if you're a basketball that. player to New York, you know, if they give you a call and you know it ain't worth it, just decline that motherfucker. Right. They like, damn, I, you know what, I'm going without it. <laughs> you take that call, you know, you might not make it to your goddamn car. <laughs> right. They going to whoop your motherfucking ass on the quiet. Two niggas going to jump out from out your trunk. Like, they going to be in your trunk when you get to your car. <laughs> <laughs> right. You pop the lock on your motherfucking door, the trunk going to open. Two well, niggas going to hop out. Whoop your motherfucking you ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah. I love New York. Like, I would keep it foggy. I yeah, ain't go to too. New York. Yeah, uh, like, I don't go as I much as I used is. to. I but I would go all the time and have some folks over there. We would have a ball. And New York is crazy over there because they ain't like us. See, the one thing about Philly, we got this arrogance. Yeah. When you're from Philly, you feel like you can do whatever the fuck you want, whatever you want. But you can. Like, but I'm talking about when you go yeah, out of town, yes, you feel you like, like shit that scare a motherfucker from out of town. We go. be looking at you them ball, like they crazy. Ball, like, yeah. wherever. Why you so yeah. scared? Wherever. Y'all know, and you know, I don't like to put yeah. too much People of my business out, but you can, you can as y'all can see from watching this show, I'm a smoker. You know, I smoke the good ganja and weed and shit like that. So, you know, when I go wherever the fuck I go, I don't give a fuck where it is Bahamas, Tokyo. I'm going to find, I'm gonna find me some reefer and we getting high. Yeah. And like me, my black ass will get high every. I remember me and one of my homies rode over New York. He had to run in his cousin's house. Well, you know, he's sitting in his cousin's house for a minute. And me, particularly, I ain't a person that just be sitting in nobody's fucking car waiting. Mm -hmm. So while I'm sitting there, but this my boy. I know he handling whatever he had to handle. So I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm just going around the corner to get me this Dutch and roll this weed. So I jump in the nigga car, ride around the corner, find me a store, buy me a Dutch, come back, roll it up. I'm in the car and getting fucked up. Meanwhile, when his cousins come by, he see the smoke in the car. He back his shit up. He like, what the fuck is you doing? Uh, uh, you know, smoking the hell. They like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, cause this nigga act like he saw a ghost. Man, don't do that. He like, you can't do that out here. <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck not? Like, right. This New York, that. you gonna go to jail. Nigga, you gonna go to jail in Philly too. We just don't give a fuck. Like, they act like it's legal in Philly. It's not legal over there either. We just gonna know how to get away with this shit. We've been doing this so long. Like, I'm not gonna let the police ride up on these people. That's how he ride up. This shit is like, listen, oh my God. Like, you know, like, this nigga, he said, okay, roll the window back up. That nigga pulled off. He called my people. He's ace. Listen here. You better go the fuck outside and get her out that car. She outside smoking. That nigga came outside so motherfucking quick. I said, damn, I should have been smoking earlier. You could been out here. That nigga like, come on. I like where we go. He said, you got to come in. Like, you can't just be sitting the fuck out here. <laughs> I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers are paranoid. Now, now I'm looking at them like something wrong. Oh, y'all niggas supposed to be G. Right. Y'all supposed to be gangsters. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers are scared. <laughs> I mean, Shit, I went to my cousin went in Jersey. We out there smoking weed. They came outside like somebody's house was the fuck on fire. What the fuck is y'all doing? Smoke. They gonna lock y'all up. If the police even smell weed, y'all ain't even got the hand under it. We all going to jail. Damn. <laughs> and then you saw the house. <laughs> we the was outside fuck? of a venue. Like, by the time the police come, we be back inside. <laughs> <laughs> listen, they was having strict. Listen, you can put me uh, anywhere. I'm smoking. Same thing. We went to the basketball game. You know yeah, us. The I'm kids smoking. over here, so we can go on the side. So we over somebody's steps, just smoking some weed. And motherfuckers walk by like, yo, that shit smell good, but y'all got balls. So why they like y'all just sitting out here smoking? Right. Like, where do y'all smoke at? Like, yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah,
It can be 90 old people to family barbecue. It's always going to be 30 motherfucking young people. When you see the 30 young people under the tree, you know that's the smoking section. Yeah, I don't give a fuck where you yeah. go. When you see the everybody step on, you, yep. you see a bunch of great shit, yeah, that's yeah, the, the smoking section. Folks, yeah, the right. old folks even know that. In Philly, we yeah, smoke right. everywhere. Everywhere. It can be a fucking funeral. Smoke. We be outside the funeral getting high. They yeah. ain't burying your Especially home. They take you cry your way to the, the door. Soon as you get to the door, you roll up hell. You know, I just yeah. fuck this yeah. fuck that shit. I can't yeah. take it. Six motherfuckers come out right behind you. <laughs> Post that shit. This is gonna make the corner. Yeah. Right. Shit they wouldn't do before. Fucked up. I see that die. Yeah. God damn. Where did we pass at? Man, Philly, we smoke everywhere. Yeah. Your daughter graduate. Yeah. Soon as she get a diploma, you be right outside. What you doing? Celebrating? Roll yeah. this shit up. Right. You got light. You know, black people, we always got weed to rap, but we ain't never got no fucking light. Right. You got light? Yeah. <laughs> we do. We smoke anywhere. You come to Philly, I think people in Philly, we just got a free pass to get high or so we think. I if mean, the police pull us over so we we be looking work. at them like they did something wrong. Like yeah. niggas only we like what the right. fuck did you know you tripping? <laughs> Listen, my neighbor was a Jamaican. He would get pulled over smoking weed, he wouldn't even put the weed out. Wow. I swear to God. Listen. And I'm only telling this story because this nigga long, 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 long gone. The nigga would listen, I swear to God, the police would pull up on him all the time. He'd be smoking his weed. They pull up, jump out, pat him down. Where the weed at? I'm smoking it. He talking about, you just gonna smoke that shit in front of me? Man, this part of my religion. He was like, yeah. yeah. Rastafari, and on the seventh, we meditate, smoke weed. It's called the Sabbath. I'm like, I be on my step crying, because I'm like, he really just smoke, blowing smoke in these motherfuckers' face. They be so mad, he cussing the fuck out, but he never put the weed out. Mm. They be like, fuck it, all he got is that J. They pull the fuck off. The nigga had flip flops on. He take his flip flop off. He got a ball of weed this big under his foot. Mm. Jamaicans, you know? I be like, yeah. this every time. They pull him and one of my other homies over on the expressway one day. <laughs> Cop asked my homie, man, why'd you just riding around smoking? He like, man, I don't even smoke. He like, that's my man getting high. You see him with the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he talking the same shit. Man, why you smoking, man? It's part of my religion, Rastafari. We meditate and smoke on the seventh. This nigga, I'm talking about these and tan like what's the highway oh, book out? Oh, I ain't know they had the little. Yeah, he had the book out. Oh, you know the book out don't play that shit. Book out will beat you the fuck up. This nigga's out there smoking in front of the book out. Rise to the far. I know they had a little speech. Uh, and they ain't fucking up. That shit would have never worked for me. Cause uh, they let that nigga what? get back in the car and everything and move on. I got that this motherfucker's bold enough to smoke this shit right shit. in front of me. They I'm gonna let him go. Them motherfucking. But they searched the car, he had nothing in it. You know, he knew he had a slip slide. State troopers. And I'm talking about in clutches, the Jones Hope between the toes. So they never make them take them off because they like they flip flop. Old time, he got a ball of weed this big. All I can say is he knew somebody. Right. Listen, no, I'm Look telling you, Big's like, I'm scared yeah, as a motherfucker. Somebody. Look, oh. Big's like, I'm scared as a motherfucker. This nigga the whole yeah. time, he on the car. It's the seven fucks. Yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. fucked up by a state trooper just because I was big. Whoa. Because you was big. bigger than him? Tell him that story. No, listen. First of all, we all the way. You ain't got to tell him the story, story, but tell him the story. Me and this nigga catch a flat. Right outside of Quakers Town. Flat. Got everything except for a jet. I'm like, damn, so you know I walk down court one of them turnpike boys like, yo, you got a jet? He was like, no, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ready you a tow truck. And you tell him he got you. Alright. So we tell him, he like, all right, it's cool. Well he was like, I'm gonna hook y'all up, free of charge, and I'm gonna take y'all to the big open. Nigga turn around by the time we got out the truck. He done took the tire off and put the spear on, took him out $60. So we go in there, help the nigga call the state trooper. So I'm like, what you call the cops for? He's like, oh, I gotta verify who y'all is. The white cop pulled up, we all right. I'm me and him sitting there busting it up, talking. He was like, no, don't. This happened all the time. Give me your information. We just gonna build you and send it to you. Hey, think smooth. We, I'm sitting on the car, we talking. Black nigga. This nigga look like he wrestled Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, 
I locked eyes with this nigga when he was getting out the car. I'm looking. This nigga, you know, I'm like, God damn, that, that's a big nigga. This nigga looked me up and down. Go talk to the other cop. Just turn around. You think you big? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that nigga slammed me out of my shoes, dude. No real, real shit, dog. No, like, just yeah. boom, you ain't big. <laughs> boom, dog. I, I was, oh. The, the I was shit. scared to death. The shit. The cop, the other scared. cop. He they, was even looking like, what the fuck? I know, fuck? but look. Like, he, but he ain't say nothing to him. Oh, man, no, that, t- that cop told him something, cuz. No. That cop told him something. He would just turn around and just jump on your ass like that, cuz. No. That other cop told him something, cuz. Because he told my man something. He was like, no. He was like, damn, why the fuck he slammed me? He was like, oh, I think that's a big thing. Nah, I'm nah, like, man, nah, nah. fuck that. <laughs> no, that's like, that shit. He that told me. He probably told me, like, me, dog. He, he like, probably like, told like, him I have trouble with them. Well, like, you was little. What the fuck? I'm. Man, I looked at him like, to come out. I ain't playing with them. He like, where you running? I looked over the overpass, nigga. I'm dealing with that before I deal with these niggas. You crazy. I'm out. He like, don't run on me. Don't run on me. No, they gave us the blues for a fucking flat tire. Never, don't ever in your life get caught on the motherfucking turnpike with a flat tire. You better have anything you need. You better have fucking triple A. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Half triple you like a motherfucking yeah. criminal, I'm telling you. Damn, you shit. be like, God damn, I ain't do they searching your shit. Yeah. No, that, that cop told that big something. ass nigga, he just looked me up <laughs> and down and shit. That's the this thing. nigga just, yo, I big. swear to God, he said, You think you big? I look like what the fuck? Nigga grabbed me from the back of my shirt <laughs> and my pants. I'm like, oh my fucking God. Then that's, I just kept seeing that. I'm like, yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought I was going to die for sure. You hear me? I'm like, it's over. Man. You think you big? You'll be out this <laughs> And they say you're about to back up my shirt and my pants. Yeah. I'm looking like. He about to make a break for it. Man, what the fuck? I'm out. <laughs> Soon as this nigga. What? I'm out. Man. We made it out of that shit, though. <laughs> we made it out of that shit. <laughs> By the skin of your teeth. Yeah, we was cool. <laughs> chitty, chitty, chitty. Yeah. Chitty, 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 chitty. I told that nigga, man, listen, we made it this far. We went through all that. We going to cheat this motherfucking gold. Yeah. Kept yeah. each other. Yeah. Get a room. Yo, that was an all the way fucked up trip. <laughs> yeah. 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 Then that nigga Caliber <laughs> broke on the e- on the turnpike coming back. So I don't know how this shit happened, but the boat came out. That shit just ran on. Nigga, I ain't stopping. Tell you that. That shit gonna ran until we get home. I'm telling you that, man. You can't take another one of those, huh? No, no. You ain't man. pulling over for shit. No. Fuck that. It still worked. It just was rattling. Like, ah, yeah. nigga, I can deal with that. Yeah. Cut the radio yeah. off. Yeah. 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 What the fuck you talking like about? Shit. Cut the radio yeah. off. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It's funny, yeah. but it's sad yeah. in the same token because that just lets you know the type of police yeah. brutality yeah. Know that our shit, black men suffer at the hands in, of police officers for years to the point yeah. where that when we get out of this shit, it becomes a joke to us because it's like, damn. Like, they yeah, made it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. listen to what he telling you. The guy walks up to him and says, "You think you big?" You just start slamming the shit out of yeah. him. Like, what did you do? Nothing. I, I guess I looked at him the wrong way. So I was you supposed to put my head there. You gotta be happy to make it out of a situation that you didn't do nothing to the point where you ready to jump over the overpass and take your chances down in the woods <laughs> and keep getting slammed yeah. by a nigga twice your size. Like at the end of the day, this police brutality has got to stop. Y'all can't just keep beating up on black and people. And then it'd be our own people who do it. Like, all the time. Like, Yo, all the time. We got a like, better you get over by a white cop, he be chilling. Yeah, he be cool. You get pulled over by a white cop, he be, yeah, cool. he be, he cop, he be aggressive as shit. Nut ass be wanting to do shit. Like, why do you want to go through all this? Overly aggressive. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. But let you, let you fuck up. We're going to see who lose their job first. You or them. Fuck out of here. I don't even really care for none of y'all. Truthfully, be honest. We got to do better, police. Got, got to, to do better. Just can't be better. Well, I'm not gonna really talk about the police because 
I know my grandson ain't watching, but he's somewhere listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 he might come on my house in the morning like, with a set of handcuffs. Oh, he's gonna be oh, like, oh, we all going to jail. Yeah, yeah, you already know how he do. Yeah, Listen, my yeah, grandson yeah, don't play yeah, no games. Yeah. Listen, he tied Gucci car to the back of my car one day with all these locks in Talk about mama, when you pull off, take Moochie with you, he owe me money for tickets. <laughs> Moochie had to pay him to get his car up because right. he tied Moochie's car up from, it was daylight when he tied Moochie's car up. It was about 9.30 when Moochie got his car on top. Like right. Moochie said, here go this $2, I'm going to pay my tickets. <laughs> Can I hook my car now? <laughs> yeah, he don't play no games. He sit down, he slide from up under the chair, head cuff you to the fucking, t t the leg of the chair. <laughs> you go to get up and go to the bathroom, you like, what the fuck? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, my son, my grandson, all the way in. He in, in. That's the young boy, though. Yeah, I heard they got a little police academy class. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to put them in. Yeah, man, that's cool. I mean, shit, listen. For all you little young boys, man, y'all can be cops. That shit cool. So that's just a, a testament to yeah. all you grown-ass folks who got kids and don't like the profi profession that your kids is yeah. leaning towards. Yeah, but you as an adult like, feel like you're supposed to voice your opinion. Like, your that ain't what it's about. Like, yeah. Your kids no, got the right yeah. to make their decisions. you ain't live your life, don't take it out right. of your kids. Exactly, in their life. And you as a parent, all you is there to do Back is support. Them up. Back I'm not even his sin. parent. I'm his grandparent. But I don't care what he want to do. He going to do. I'll I be at the store mine, making right wrong. You know how many police officer shirts I done made for this little nigga police jackets? Right. He got half. You know how much, how many SWAT uniforms? And that's why he wouldn't believe that. FBI agents. That's why he wouldn't believe that board. you was talking about the police. Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that shit grandma play, brought me. He don't play no games. Right. He don't play no games. Out of board night sticks and handcuffs and badges and you know how many damn walk them goddamn walkie talkies is expensive. And he always tell my yeah. grandmom, I want a walkie talkie, yeah, then I can talk to you from my house. Mm. Oh, so you want a walkie walkie talkie. <laughs> that's like that's like what? He wanted a CB. Being, being 20. He wanted a CB. Yeah. Right. right. He, yeah. Yeah. he wanted a CB. And he got the joints. He got the um the radio shack the, with the all the Right. Yeah, listen, CB I spend money, now. but listen. I buy at least two, three walkie talkies a year. He leave me in school, he Listen, I'm walkie talkie out. Yeah. Shit. Him, that's his dream. I Let need a walkie talkie kit back. Is it somebody who take walkie talkies? Mm. Like, Y'all get money back for walkie talkies. <laughs> if Paul Shops is out there and you take money for walkie talkies, holla at us. We, oh, we definitely need to know who having a cookout this weekend. If y'all yeah. cooking out, DM me, hit me up. I'm coming. Slide me a hamburger and the sausage to the side. I ain't going to eat them together one at a time, put it on a plate, wrap it up with a little tater salad. No, make me yeah. a plate. None of that white tater salad either. I need that yellow tater Is salad. Anybody mm -hmm. out there cooking? You got that white tater salad. You keep that shit on the side. Give me out. Is anybody out there having a Fourth of July cookout? DM you two, cousin. What? DM us. DM you two shit. That's right. DM us. It's a package deal. Coming. Right, yeah, we Jesus. coming. Yeah, we cousin in there. P. Yeah. We gonna try to bring something if we can. No, we will. We will. We will. <laughs> we gonna try to bring a little something. As, up. as long as we're invited before we get off. Right, <laughs> and we, we know will. that we coming. Yeah. Now, if I tell, slide on this tomorrow, and I miss that you told me I can come to your cookout, then I might That's not. A, yeah. I might show up without anything. I'm not responsible for that. I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah. I might yeah. show up with just me. I gave Big. you enough notice now. I'm gonna show up with a to-go plate and a fucking half a roll of foil. <laughs> I'm popping up to bring your own foil. You know, niggas, we show up with our own uh, to-go platter. Right. The job the lid and I shit. Know, that'd be the worst. We keep two of them on top of our refrigerator. That's worth that. <laughs> That's one thing I ain't never seen, guys. Somebody walk to a cookout with their own empty potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I show yeah. my own to-go planner because I don't really eat a lot. So if you make me a plate, sometimes I don't eat half. So I need something to take my other half in because I ain't wasting no food. I'm going to eat that later on. Mm. Okay. You know, when you smoke, you wake up in the morning with the munchies halfway to in the morning. <laughs> so so you might as well just eat the half a plate. Right, I eat half then and I eat the other half in the morning when I wake up, like two. So just wrap my shit up and give me my plate. So you eat your plate now and take two. one to go? Yeah, he won yeah, two. Yeah, right. we won. That's how we won. Do that. <laughs> Your shit's in yeah. one, two. Right. Yeah, oh, that. listen, now I'm playing. You ever seen them at a cookout? No. Oh, they fuck a cookout yeah, up. Then my gang will fuck your cookout up. We fucking. I mean, like, you can't, like, yeah. if you gotta invite me, invite me. But if you say bring your gang. We coming. You just better have some food. That's all I'm saying. Oh, my boys will fuck your party up. And yeah. we drinking all your yes, shit. Sir. 
<laughs> they drink and they eat. I'm talking about they eat, eat. So like, if you only got two extra hot dogs, like we ain't really the people you supposed to invite. Like you gotta invite us when your uncle done bought a case of chicken, yeah. and a case of hot dogs, and a case of sausage, yeah. and a case of burgers. Reunion. And you got a bunch of shit yeah. that you don't so want to put your family family number reunion. right. Yeah. You gotta invite us to the big, big cookout when the food is plentiful. Cause yeah. they eat through your shit. You be mad. I'm gonna tell you. Mm. Yeah, they cousin, they just, yeah. they fuck a cook up. We went to my girlfriend party. She said, bring the gang. I bought the gang, nigga. Yeah. Oh, and then it was funny, because at the end of the cookout, she was like, um, why don't y'all take this shit with y'all? And she must have thought they wasn't. <laughs> oh, when we got in the car, niggas said cheesecakes. Right. <laughs> I'm like, pass me slicing it. <laughs> oh, they had fried chicken. They had the candies with the chocolate over top over the hard shell on top. <laughs> like, they didn't take, like, a meal that batch. They just had a bunch of shit in the car. You got cheese steak, kit, chicken, and uh, chocolate candy. <laughs> Yo, we done got invited to a party, man. And these niggas left with the liquor, man. Because she man. had too much liquor left. Now you come. I oh. told them to call you. Yeah. Wow. We got another picture of over here. We thought you was going to come. Mm. They talking about you was at work putting in 9,000 hours. Y'all hiring at your job? Everybody's been asking that for years. I can't really do that much work and I can only come in, I clock in two hours a day. Mm. <laughs> That's all the time I got. I don't think they go out. I got two hours a day and I can come put in some work. I don't you know anybody think. hiring for that. That allotment of time, y'all call me, let me know. And that's a lot of time for her. And I need a break in here, too. Mm. Yeah, I, I only got two hours. Two hours. I need at least a 15 minute in here somewhere, though. Damn. Shit, I need a smoke break. Shit, black people don't do nothing without a smoke break. Mm. Smoke breaks is there. Well, we going to get out of here today, y'all. We done had a, you know, all the shenanigans we can stand. Thank y'all for tuning in. We going to sit here and talk to our boys. And we going to sign off. We want to thank our boy Shiz for coming in. We're hitting in yeah, this week. Appreciate we're going to try to get them to come back. in tomorrow. Um, we're going to try to get them to come in next week. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned and go in the Global Tunes app on, uh, what is that? GlobalTunesRadio.com. On the uh, Play Store, y'all sign in, download that app. Y'all on um, iPhone, y'all just go to GlobalTunes.com. Y'all can sign in the app and y'all come in to talk to us. You know, we punch y'all in. We going to have our boy with us next week in the building. We appreciate y'all. Right. We going to have a few other people in the building with us next week, so we going to do it up like we normally do. Yep, you got yep, anything yep. to say, cousin? Nope, 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 nope. Y'all make nope, sure y'all come you. on down to the business, too. 2609 Germantown Avenue. Get y'all shirts done. I know the, um, the come, East Falls Reunion up. coming you up, do, so y'all come get the pictures. <laughs> yeah, you do pictures on your shirt, too. Final cut screen, Frank, we do it all. Yes, All right, so we gonna sign out. We see y'all next week. Same back channel, same t- topics and bullshit. And I fuck that all up. Y'all not go. Y'all hear that? Uh, say it for me. Batman. Uh. We out. I was a terrorist since the public school era. That's my joint, boy. Skip boy. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since I was 13. A chubby skid on the scene. I used to have the. You know what? Let me hop out. Pop out, boy, at 2609 Germantown. Hey, one of the hottest clothing stores in Philadelphia. You gotta go check them out, boy. Damn, boy. Little Ninja Perro. Yeah, he came to business. Damn, that bike is giving on the business with all them speakers on it, boy. I'd be loud as hell in the morning waking everybody up if I wanted to. Hey, what? Oh, my goodness. What? Gee, my, what's your little orthopedic shoe wearing behind the door in here, huh? business, and I bought briefcases for everybody. I know that leather strap from that briefcase hurting your arthritis trigger finger. What, boy? Not hurt my finger. I bought briefcase for everybody, and I ain't here to play with you today, boy. Stop oh. playing. It's a clothing line. I ain't say bring briefcases. What? I'm saying about that business. Well, you, you want some weird stuff, G-Mod? Weird? What the hell's wrong with I mean, you? I'm like, you crazy. Damn. You ever been here with you know briefcase, what? baby? Huh? Play too much. You ever been smacked with briefcase? You break it down. You? Well, tell him. Oh, get him on. Hey. Oh, hey. 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 Look at you, huh? Statue of bull. What boy? Go ahead, say it. Say it. I had a little ninja come out and slap you with her strong throttle hand. Whatever. Uh-huh. Or her stitching hand. Want to play? Yeah, all right. Yeah, you wish your hand didn't cramp up, huh? You better do it yourself, huh? <laughs> but anyway, boy, I'm just letting y'all know, boy, the business show Wednesday, 8 p.m., Global Tunes Radio, sponsored by Little Ninja Apparel. What you thought it was just apparel? No, she doing big things. You need to get at this lady. You go in there and check out. She going to take care of you. She got hats, shirts, everything, whatever. I don't care what it is. If she don't got it, she will make it for you.
Come out, boy. Y'all liking this bagger? This bagger got swag. You know what I'm saying? All right, G-Mom. See you with your old damn self. Just a joint. I am out. Damn, don't forget the Business Show Podcast, Wednesday 8 p.m., funny as hell. I, I should go radio. on the podcast and talk about skit. I should. Oh, oh, this is our other midget lover in the building. Cheers. Our boy Cam, just came in. Really? I'm in my room with a